Hello friends, here is a great news. Now you can upload the recorded test case from test case studio directly to the test rail. Yes, we have integrated test case studio pro with test rail. Just in one click, you will be able to upload the test case right there in test rail. Let's see how. For this, you just have to open test case studio as usual. You will see the button here test rail. So suppose you have recorded some of these steps here for an example you just uh, <clears throat> like let's say if you go to any website flipkart.com you can click here and there whatever wherever you want and suppose now some of the test case has been some of these steps has been recorded here this we want to upload to uh, test rail so here you can see that you see the button here click on this so as we have to enter few of the information uh, before it can upload to test rail so yes there is a small setup is required for that what you have to do test rail info so here you have to enter the host name your username or email id which you have in test rail and the api key with this you will be able to uh, like with these information test case studio pro will be able to connect with your test rail account and this will be absolutely safe and secure because as you all know this is going to be there in your local system. We don't save any information at our end. It will be there in your local. We don't have any host or cloud server where these information are going to pass. No, it will be 100% in your local system so that you can rely on. And at any point of time you face any problem or any challenges, there we have attached the tutorial so you can always watch this. Now, let's uh, see what all information you need to add here. Open your test rail account, copy this URL, paste it here, then your username. So this can be your email ID or uh, like your username. So generally it will be just go to from here, go to my settings. So here you will find your email ID. So copy this, paste it here and here you need to enter the API key. How you will get the API key for this you see that in your my settings in your settings like from here your profile right on top corner you see that my settings so here under my setting you will see the keys api keys go to api keys here you have the add key option click on this and here you can create the key like let's say this is test case studio pro key okay so you can just give any name and after that once you will click on generate key it will generate the key you need to copy this key and paste it here once you paste this all this information is here just click anywhere or you just click back here on customize click back uh, click again on customize your setting is saved you need not to click uh, like again any save or nothing after entering all these values this is there Okay, let's come back here and now try to click on test rail. So you can see that still it is showing something went wrong. Please check this tutorial to fix the issue. Okay, so what is that? After entering this information, if you get this pop up, what you have to do? So you see that here we created the key, but we haven't clicked on add key. So you have to make sure that you click on add key. And still this is not yet created successfully still this is not created you have to click on save setting then your key will be created make sure that you click on save settings here this doesn't get automatically saved if we refresh the page this key you will not find here so make sure you make sure you click on save settings then now your successfully saved your setting message will come and if you go here under api keys now you will find your key so this is where you are sure that api key got successfully created let's try back to a, click on this still it is showing this error why i'm showing these errors each and every step so that like if you face any challenges you will be knowing that where could be the issue so it's still there is an error so what does that mean like we have created the api keys but still we have to provide the permission that api key could be used for test rail so here you have to go to administration under ad administration you will see the site settings click on this and here you will find this api click on api and here you have to enable api so enable this checkbox now 
your setting and you have provided the uh, like access for the api now come back here oh, wait after clicking on this enable api you have to click on save setting make sure you click on whenever you make any change you click on save settings at test rail because there it doesn't save automatically now changes are saved successfully come back here click on cancel now let's try to click on test rail to upload this test case this recorded these recorded steps click on test rail wow now our setup is ready this is just one time setup it is it doesn't require again and again now you see that here you can select the project so which all project whichever projects will be there and un, under your account in test rail like let me show you one two three all projects are showing in test case studio here you see that if there will be more it will show all of them here and you can select any of them like under whichever project in whichever project you want to add this upload this test case you select let's say we want to uh, select this test case studio testing so you can select this project and you can click on next when you will click on next it will show you the section so under each project in test project uh, in the project in test project we have this section so whichever section you will have it will show you those section then you can select and click on upload here green means selected you can go back and see that whichever project whichever uh, <coughs> project or section you have selected now here if we will go ahead and click on this and click on upload it will get uploaded with this name test case one before upload make sure that what name you want to give to your test case so for an example i want to give this test case as a test rail demo okay now if we will upload this let's say we want to upload under test case studio testing so select this click on next and this is by default selected then click on upload and our test case got uploaded here if we go here and open this test case studio project you click on test cases let's say view all so here you see that test rail demo this test case come here comes here and you can see all these steps has been uploaded so this is how you can simply upload your test case on test rail again now next time whenever you will try let's say we delete this test case we try to uh, record some of these steps here we did them and now suppose we make it let's say test rail one okay and here let's say we uh, want to after this we want to upload this so select this and you select if you select any project like which doesn't have any section so let's say project 3 it will show you that no sections are found create a section so you make sure that your project have has some sections generally always will be there uh, pro, uh, like section will always be there in your project but if it is not there like you create a simple test case under your project and that will get automatically created so that's the simple thing and uh, if you get any error or any issue you can always reach out to us and this is how you can upload your test cases now right from test case studio pro to test rail it is as simple as it is and whichever project you will select last like let's say last time we have selected this test case studio testing right so if you will click this by default it will always show that project which we have last where we have last uploaded so you need not to every time select that project where you have uh, like where you want to upload so if, let's say you are working on a project every time uh, like again and again so in that case you need not to just select again and again that will by default be selected and click on next your uh, section and then upload so this is how you can upload the test case from test case studio into test rail it's as, as simple as it is let me just quickly repeat and go to direct to customize enter your host name username and api key after that in your test rail account you have to under settings under my settings you have to create an api key and go back here administration here under site settings you have to enable this api 
and click on save settings wherever you are making change in test it is as simple as it is if you face any issue you can always feel free to reach out to us on live chat or support at selectorsub.com please do let us know your thought in the comment section if you need any improvement any feature request thank you thank you so much